Hello everyone. Today I actually have a new microphone and also a new car. This is the ID3 Pro S. Uh, Pro S means that is the big battery uh, that has a net capacity of 77 kilowatt hours and a gross capacity of 82. So it's a small car with a really big battery actually. Uh, this is the five-seater version and this one didn't exist uh, in the beginning. I think they introduced the five-seater version with the big battery uh, in the end of 2021. So this is a 2022 model. Uh, I picked it up in March this year uh, and the color is King's Red and that, uh, that's also kind of a new color uh, I think it also was introduced at the end in the end of 2021 so this car has 204 horsepower uh, and 310 in newton meters of torque uh, it's real it's a rear wheel drive as uh, most of the ID models and you can see it here uh, back it has this uh, drum brakes um, it's pretty common on these uh, ID models and this car is running the standard Pro S rims and they are 19 inch uh, 215.50 so the VLTP range of this car is, I think it's 548 kilometers. Um, that equals, let's see, 340 miles, I think. Um, and that's the VLTP features, not EPA. Uh, and this model doesn't exist on the American market. So it's more, more of a Europe, European car. So I'm gonna do a range test with this car and see how long it actually, it's, it's possible to travel uh, when normally driving, not uh, trying to maximize or, or hyper mile, but just wanted to show how, how long and far you actually can drive with this car and what you can expect when it comes to range. So let's have a look inside. We have the boot, uh, oh, sorry I didn't clean it before the video but I think it's okay. It's big, you have this uh, kind of a snow uh, ski latch and uh, foldable seats and uh, a 60 40 split. You have this uh, back seat, it's uh, I think it's good, the seating position is good. Uh, it's big and roomy for this kind of uh, sized car. Uh, but as you see, I think it's a strange color combination. I don't know why Volkswagen actually don't just do plain black seats. Uh, this looks a bit weird, I think. It's kind of like of a faded fabric. Uh, yeah, it's okay anyway, but not the best looking, I think. And here you have the front. Um, you see the touchscreen, it's a 10, 10 inch touchscreen and the small instrument cluster at the front. You have all seen this before, I guess. But uh, it is what it is. You can't change that, but I think, or I know that in the future, probably in the 2023 model, it will be introduced with a 12 inch screen and some inter internal updates like some uh, plasticky materials will be updated and changed, hopefully. So let's take a drive. And then after that, come back to some figures and actual range.
So, now I'm back with some stats for you. Uh, I managed a average consumption of 153 watt hours per kilometer. Uh, this was on pretty good weather conditions. Uh, dry road, 16 degrees Celsius. Uh, average speed around 85 kilometers per hour. So it's more of a Sunday driving, not uh, fast motorway driving, but a mix. Uh, so. With that consumption, you can expect around 500 kilometers, 503 to be exact. Uh, so during winter, you should expect uh, a bit less, maybe 20% less, but I, I shouldn't count on more than 450 or 440 kilometers, depending on weather conditions, wet roads, etc. So this is the big battery, uh, so we can imagine how it looks like with the smaller one, uh, with a net capacity of 58 watt hours. It's a big difference. So that one is probably more around 300 kilometers. Uh, so 500 kilometers equals to 312 miles. So that's what you can expect. That's good. And it's a heavy car for its size. It's a C-class family car. So it's equals to the to the Golf class uh, compared to to my Tesla Model Y. It actually consumes around the same wattage per kilometer, and also almost the same range. And that car is a lot bigger. So this car only weighs a hundred kilograms less than the much bigger Model Y. So Volkswagen have a lot to do. Uh, regards saving weight on their cars but that's probably another episode and uh, another generation of a car so let's see what happens uh, in the future but save weight I think that's a good good idea to try to do so uh, this was approximately what I expected I actually expected a little less a little lower consumption but I guess it is what it is, of course. So I'm I'm pretty happy with it. I like the car. A little, I really enjoy driving the car. It's very comfy, uh, and you have a lot of room. Uh, the interior space is is great for for this uh, sized car. So boot space, interior space, it's, it's perfect. You can you can easily travel for grown ups in this car and go on a road trip, as as long as you fit your luggage correctly in the in the in the boot so yeah, i think that's it there is things i love and there is things i hate about this car but that's uh, another episode speak to you soon